Hey guys, welcome back to another stream. Uh, so we're going to pick up where we left off with setting up Perforce and Unreal Game Sync. Uh, so we edit our project. We edit the engine. Um, but Unreal Game Sync was, was failing uh, to build. So I'm going to try to see what's going on with that. I'm going to just try for like 30 minutes or so. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, whoops. So basically, here's our P-Force, Perforce. Here's Unreal Game Sync. What I want to try to do is change what I'm doing. Because right now, uh, my path is this project directory. I want to try hero.u project instead. And we'll see if it works. And can I sync? I don't know, but <laughs> like it's going to try to generate project files and I don't know if it's going to be successful um, and it failed. <laughs> Perfect. Um, let's see. Project files error I'm failed to complete. Okay, let's try to research. Why? Mm. Is it because I moved stuff that I have to maybe do compiling thingies again? <laughs> so I got main repo. Um, Let's see. Access path is denied. What? Okay, let's see if we can get this error anywhere. Let's see. I uh, just wanted to reply here as well. Blah, blah, blah. I stayed on Instagram. Keep in mind that it's not. Please see. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I have to do setup again. Oh, that's setup.sh. No. Setup.bat. Fix dependencies, maybe? <laughs> Let's see. Um, I guess we'll have to figure this out. <sighs> Let's see what the computer says, because we're so close. It just thinks that like we're at the end of the line, but it's like, would you like to override your changes? Yes. Uh, unhandled exception. Access path is denied. Do I have to give like this, um, like uh, access? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. It's installing prerequisites, so we'll see what it does. I guess while we're waiting on system on access to path. Is denied anything? Um, okay, I think it finished. Uh, give permission to directory, I guess, is what the phrasing. I know we had to deal with this. Um, Let's see, what's the easy way? These are these guys are not giving easy ways. Okay. Let's yeah, let's go to this main repo properties maybe security. Um uh, 
edit. Uh, authenticated users allow. System has everything. Administrator allow, user allow. Apply. Oh boy. I'm just curious. Oh. <laughs> All I'm making are noises now. But yeah, this stuff takes a while, huh? Do -do -do. Ugh. Like at this point, I don't even think it seems worth it, but I'm going to keep going. That's the Sherry way, you know? But this takes forever. Mm. Is anyone on Twitch? Yeah, no one's watching. That checks out. <laughs> um, yeah, still setting security info. Okay. I don't know if it's worth doing it this way, but also can I right click and do properties, security, edit, full control, full control, full control, apply. Okay. Now it's gonna do it to everything. <laughs> so again, maybe not worth it, but I think I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm nervous about. Like, well, I'm not, well, I'm, I'm not nervous about this, but like, is this the problem? I guess is the better kind of question. So it's setting it on everything again. That was like a good two minutes before, but now there's even more stuff to do. I really should get probably another hard drive, maybe, but we'll see. We don't need to look at that. And again, I don't know if this is the problem. Ah, uh, ba da da. Well, okay. So we're just gonna sit here and do nothing while this does its thing. Yo, listen up. I didn't finish singing that song, but whatever. Okay. Still going. No surprise there. Ah. Biting my nails a lot. Okay, now it's, it's moved on to the, the other programs. We're outside of Unreal Engine, so that's good, I suppose. <laughs> okay, it's done. Okay, okay. Um, okay, okay. Now, let's see. Try again, uh, set up that bat. Yes, okay, still. Uh, system unauthorized exists. Still a problem. Uh, 
let's just see. Let's do this, and we'll try generating project files again. And we'll see what happens. Okay. I assume it's not going to do very well. Yeah. Why? Access to path is denied. Let's just get that information. Let's see. Does anybody have this? Uh, let's see. Um, there isn't quite enough information. I added the link to the build to my question again. Thanks for the access rights the user understood bill has. According to the documentation for the bill graph, to set one of the bills, you need to pass the listen only flag as well. Otherwise, the appearance will only Okay. Let's see. Nothing. Do I have to, like, I don't know, do the, like, download it again? Let's see. <sighs> okay, shader cache tool is not gonna I will chase the compiler. <laughs> Sounds like it could be weird that I've never seen that about Okay, looking at the source, it's about the build is failing because it can't write to .NET utility. It depends on you. Are you writing automation tool using this? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the build is failing because it can't write to .NET. It's also a dependency of automation tool, which is running, which probably explains why it can't write to it. Are you running automation tool use? Uh, do I have anything else open for this Unreal? Uh, is it because Unreal Game Sing's open? I doubt it, but maybe. Okay, and task. We don't want Unreal games. We don't want anything Unreal related opened. Okay, let's try again. Um, no. Let's see. Access the path. Blah blah blah. Is it engine binaries? Dot net. And then .NET Utilities, that DLL. Read only? Um, I don't know <laughs> if this is right. <laughs> like, read only, but maybe it should be read and write? I don't know. Yeah, Unreal Build Tool failed to compile. Okay. Maybe if like worse comes to worse, um, I delete the engine again <laughs> and create the project here. Maybe I should have created the workspace first. I don't know. We'll try a couple things. And if I still can't get it to work uh, off, off stream, I will uh, re-download the engine compile it from source and, uh, excuse me, and um, create the new project. And we'll see if Unreal Games Inc. will pick it up. Um, but we'll just see what the fuck this is doing. Ow, ouchies. Ow, 
Yeah, don't bite your nails, kids. This is what happens. It hurts. Wow. Yeah. I think that's what I'll do. If this if this doesn't work, I'll j I'll re-download the engine. Um and I'll put it in this directory, like the main repo directory. But I'll have to clean Luckily I didn't do anything with this project. <laughs> so that's good. But you know, would have been nice to get this working on the first try. But seldom does anything really work on the first try, so I shouldn't really beat myself up too hard, you know? Um, we'll just try this. I doubt this is going to work, but we'll see. But I will get ready. So there's my main repo. Where where is this workspace? I don't even know where this workspace is. My Devon Collaborative Project Depot. Is it on my C drive? <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't need, I don't really know how Perforce works either. So that doesn't really do me any favors. Where, where's like, how do I make, so new workspace, workspace name, stream doesn't matter. Um, I guess I have to like, so like this is the main repo, right? And that has everything with the project. Do I have to like create a folder? Like, I don't know, test, for example. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, whoops. Uh, new workspace. So advanced owner, yes, yes. Okay, and this would be where test is. Stream, I don't have any streams. Okay. And then get latest revision? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But then again, you know, it's hashtag broken. So, I don't know. Maybe I should stop this. Uh, I'll keep it going just to see if what I think is true is true. <laughs> but so I think I gotta, yeah, I gotta have to redo this. Mm. If this fucking uh, read only thing doesn't work, which I suspect it would not work. <laughs> I'll let this copy just for funsies and I'll just delete it, you know. Um, but we're almost done with applying attributes. Ba -da -ba -ba. Fifteen seconds. Okay.
So this is still copying. But we see stuff's happening, though. Am I right, though? Yeah, I'm right. Um, yeah, it's 1%. One, 1 okay. Um, let's go to main repo. Sorry. Okay. So I'm. I mean, does it matter? No, because I'm going to delete all this anyway. Um. Let's just do set up that bat again. Yes. Hey, it's actually doing something. Yes. What? <laughs> did, uh, did I actually do something that worked? I don't know. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Okay, that's done. Now, generate project files. Pretty please. Okay, so this is taking a while, so maybe that's good. Oh, sh snap. It did something. Now, where was it in? Um, where, ah, uh, UE4. What's the, uh, something selector. Selector exe. This should be the right location. Unreal version selector. So where's the Unreal version selector? I guess I could just look. Um. Should really, you know, do the .exe part. <laughs> ah, this one. Yes. Yay! We registered successfully. Now we have the solution file. Um, I know this is in progress, but how much space does this take? Uh, does it tell me? So I'm at 20 gigs, 30, 45, 50, 60. So hopefully under a hundred. Okay. So 90 gigs of pop. So what I would want to do, do I want to, yeah, I think, I, I, do I want to keep main repo untouched and I create this like test and I work on that workspace and only make any significant changes on main repo? Maybe, because that's a question for another day. Um, let's try again on Unreal Game Sync. I can add, I can, 
Okay, I can also add my second workspace when it's done. So this is the main repo. It's doing that. The editor needs to be built before you can run it. Build now. No. <laughs> Why? Why did I say no? <laughs> yes. Let's see what happens. Because this essentially, I believe, is what you see in uh, Visual Studio when you try to compile. So, so far, you know, so far, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> and I know, well, this shouldn't take too long just because the project is just the engine and the uh, actual game. So it's not, it shouldn't be a big deal. Plus there shouldn't be anything to compile. Well, maybe just because it's the first time. Well, let's do its thing. That's all we can do, huh? And we're also copying <laughs> this thing. Um, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm actually just kind of excited uh, that this is doing something. <laughs> that it's not actually doing an error. So. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Damn. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, is anyone on Twitch saying anything? Because I'm not following the Twitch at all. Yeah, no one's on here. Okay. Okay. Seems to be doing stuff still. If we can get this, I'm going to be very excited. Um, and then after this, I don't know. What do I have to set up? Uh, I want to set up uh, Jenkins, which I know nothing about. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, I got to set up Jira, the uh, tracking task tracking software. So you can make tickets, bug reports. Set up as much as I can for that. Then, um, and then if we get, can get Jenkins to get hooked in to, to make continuous cooks of the game, maybe right now once, oh, once a week is enough. <laughs> um, also have to get my friend Esteban to get this to work. Which I'm not sure how. I guess I would have to talk to him if we if we know this compiles first. Um, if we can get this to compile, I guess that's the next official step. See if we can get Estevan to connect and to be able to get the build. So if we can do that, and he can submit a change, and we see the change on Unreal Game Sync. And we can update to that thing and see the change in editor or in engine, then that's a huge W. So things are looking bright. That's good. How is everybody else doing? <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh, we're close. We're real close. Uh, <laughs> not as close as I wanted. Got 69 modules to build. Oh, yeah. But they're going by pretty quick. 3669. Oof, what? Sorry. <laughs> mm 
Mm-hmm. I got that. I think it's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It's like, in a world of pure imagination. For some reason, that's stuck in my head. We're almost done, maybe. Update succeeded. Does it run the project? Oh. We'll just allow everything. We're doing good. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, that, this is something I've read interesting uh, today. The Mandalorian, um, it uses Unreal Engine <laughs> to do the rendering for real-time sets. So that's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Is this a real photo? I don't know, but we're in very good shape. More than I thought. So let's see, see if it opens and I guess we will do a submit. I think it opened. Boom. Okay. And we're in debug game, which I think we can set. You can also open the solution. So I want to do that going forward. Um. Editor, yeah. So debug game, and you got development. We'll leave a debug game, I guess. But we did it. Super proud of you guys. So here is the next quick test. Um. We'll right click, create a new folder. Uh, I'll call it test folder, I suppose. And we'll create um, gameplay ability blueprint. Base it off that, call it, uh, call it GA test. Let's save. But now we need to connect to source control, right? Um, how far along is this? 37%. Can I change? Okay, I can't switch. But now I have source control. Here we go. Connect the source control. Yes. Per force. Server? Yes. Username and then workspace. Available workspaces. Ooh, accept settings. Oh! Mark for add. Ooh. Check in. Okay. So we got that there. Don't switch. Um, but this is all a good sign. Um, should I let this? Hmm. 
Okay, I'm going to stop this. Um, can I delete a workspace? Let's see. P4V, delete workspace. Psh, psh, psh. So delete a workspace. Okay. Create a workspace. Okay. Change your workspace. Okay. So, okay. Delete, submit or revert any information. Okay. Go to view. Workspaces. This is the one. Delete workspace. Nuke. Okay. So I have no workspace. I have my collaborative one. Yes. Depot. And here's my pending test folder. Everything in there. Good. Let me just go back here. Test. Let's delete that. I've already had a few gigs of stuff in there. That's okay. Sorry, I just <laughs> I got sidetracked again with texting. Okay, that was quick. Cool. Okay. So after this, I will I will create my own working thing. Um. Uh, no, my own an additional repo. Uh, so we got that. Okay, we're good. So we got that here. So now we can right click and submit, and we could just say, uh, test for adding new content. Submit, and we submitted. And now in Unreal Game Sync. Oh, oh, yes. We did it. Okay. So next, um, now that we have open solution, let's update to this version. Shouldn't have to compile too much. It was just one thing, but we got to let it do what it's got to do. Guess I can make a, t a tutorial about this. I don't know. I feel kind of dirty just because a lot of the work was in, in that guide. Like you had to set up a lot of like different type of files and like ignores and stuff like that. Okay. So okay, cool. It's opening up Visual Studio <clears throat> as we would expect. So we got our project again. We got our test folder. We got GA test. And we'll just let Visual, excuse me. We'll just let Visual Studio open up. And then the next thing we'll test is deleting uh, that file. And then updating to that head revision, check if it's deleted, then go back to the previous revision where it wasn't deleted, just check if it's there. And if that works, then I'm going to call it a day. I'm actually in a very good mood now. <laughs> uh, don't prompt me again. Okay, it's fine. So it's got the engine, and then here's our game. Not a lot in there, obviously. Okay. So let's close Visual Studio. And now uh, let's delete this file. Obviously, no references. Deletes the folder. Exit out. Go to Perforce. 
refresh. Submit this. Test removing content. Submit. Okay. We should see it. Okay. And we can see more info, what we did. Maybe. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Update to this version. Let's go open up Visual Studio again. Uh, also, it's got to compile, whatever it's got to compile. And then once we see that it's not there, that file we will revert back to our chain, our fourth change and just see if the thing's there. And if it's there, we're done. And then I would need to talk to Esteban. Maybe we can set it up this week. Ugh, this weekend I'm having, not to sound gross, to, oh, no, but I'm having a friend over this weekend, so I, can't, I don't think I could do it this weekend. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Okay, we're here, file's not there. Visual Studio, you can go bye-bye. Okay, it's, oh, whoa. hold on, stop. Okay, I wasn't sure what button I pressed, <laughs> so. Just gotta be careful getting too overly excited. Uh. Sorry, I'm also very tired. <laughs> okay, we're making making progress. Oh yeah. Okay. Test folder, yes. Now it's asking us about this. So we can sync. Okay, since I synced it, that means it's deleted. <laughs> So that's fine. But then we look back in Perforce, it's gonna be there, right? No. Okay. So let's just get back to head revision. And then we should be good to go. And that'll be the last time. <laughs> and then I think we're in good shape. <sighs> okay, this is a good amount off my mind. Um, the real thing, the real test. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a second workspace. I'm gonna copy onto that workspace, and then yeah, I got I gotta talk to my friend about setting it up for himself. I think all he has to do is download P4V. Install the Unreal Engine on his side. No, I don't even think he has to do that. Maybe. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay. And we're good. And we can run the game? Yes. Yes, we're running, we're playing, we're having fun. Ha ha ha. Okay. Perfect. So... That's it uh, for this stream, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We actually accomplished something, which is always a good thing. Um, so uh, we'll see what happens next soon uh, 
with creating my other workspace. I'm going to do that on my own time without streaming that. That doesn't really matter. Maybe I'll stream working with Estevan to get his side working. Maybe that will be useful. And then once he can connect, that's when I'll need to start looking into Jira. I'll, work, I'll, yeah, I'll look into Jira. And once I can get that working, and if I can hook it in with uh, Unreal Game Sync and P4V, that would be amazing. Sorry. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next stream or tutorial. <laughs> we'll see. Bye.